just so we've got somewhere to pop the flower. And I bet you're taking the flower. No, you're not. Okay, whatever. What the heck is going on down here? What? <laughs> hey, what is going on, everybody? No, no, no. We can't have this sort of traffic. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in Biffalo County, and today we're going to be expanding over into this area over here across the river set up a nice little industry over there and we've got some other jobs that we need to do and some fantastic suggestions from you lovely people as well to dive into just been enjoying this nice little bit of detailing that we did here last episode with some sub buildings looking very good so let us come out of this view and head on over here into this area now before we start i've had to change up one of the mods in our build and that is switching out the building themes mod for the district styles mod i think it's called district styles plus the actual mod so it, for all intents and purposes it looks the same it won't import at the moment as of recording this video it won't import any styles that you set up with building themes so as this was a very small city and we only had a theme here on or styles as they're now called a style here on um whatever district this was at uh, mill district so we've got that one set up again and then we had a style on lafayette heights so we've set that up again everything else is running okay but yeah just thought i'd let you know about that mod and we're going to be getting fishing going over here we need to get our money going this industry is doing okay it's up to two stars <laughs> it will earn money from time to time it sort of goes up and down uh, we need to get more workers in so yeah as we go along that will get better but i'd like to get the fishing stuff going first so we've got this road connection over here and then we've got this sort of seafront along here what we're going to do first of all is we are going to remove some of the trees we've also got this line up here this um, rail line which is good so when we've unlocked that we can get our industries all working uh, sending stuff out by train and uh, what do we need to unlock that we are metro train 8000 so we're not quite there yet then along the front here i want to add in a nice key wall so we're going to be using this one here just the standard key wall and i'm hoping we can just run that straight along here from one side to the other and let's just do this on pause as we're working with water and then we can sort of bring this in like if i put the anarchy mod on if i bring that underneath there there we go that clips nicely into there which is good it sort of ends over here we'll probably end up following that around here a little bit yeah that'll probably do and then we can smooth this all out so it's all nice and flat uh, so we're going to grab our terrain tool level terrain a little bit bigger on that a little bit bigger than that there we go right click on top of there and we're going to just take that back i'll worry about the seaside part of it in a moment just so we've got a nice piece of level terrain to be working on and then we'll do a similar thing down here but we'll grab say this height and we'll just bring that back all the way up to the key like that Zoop, that will do just over there and then we'll just smoothify let's just turn that down a bit there we go smoothify that out so let's have a look at our fishing stuff that we've got over here so we've got the fishing harbor we have the fish farm and then we've got the fish market and the fish factory so yeah as time goes along now this is going to be like super high up here isn't it and that's the fish farm that looks like that i'm thinking we'll have the fish farm sort of at that end and then I would like a couple of three of these fishing harbours sort of along here. And then we're going to sort of level it all out. In fact, I'm going to just sort of put them up nice and close like that. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to get the move it mod. And we're going to grab you, you, you and you. Control H, the same height as that. I'm just wondering whether we could just drop that all down a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. That'll work a little bit better. Excellent. Um, and then we'll worry about the terrain in a moment. I'm going to unlock these roads along here. So if we use our network multi-tool, we've got this padlock one here. We can unlock 
all four of those. And actually, I don't need to delete them. We can just upgrade them, can't we? What are we going to go for along here? It's going to be to you industry, I feel like I want to go for. Or one with the median down the middle, actually, I think would work quite well. So let's upgrade those. In fact, I tell you what, I am going to delete these ones. And then we're going to grab that and we're going to just draw that all the way along there. And that will connect to those. Yeah, excellent. And then we'll worry about connecting that up to there in a moment. Whoa, what the heck is going on there? Let's just upgrade that and upgrade that. There we go. Very good. And that's looking okay. Yeah, excellent. They're going to be complaining about a lack of water. So let's sort that out. Everybody happy with that? You're saying no road access. Oh, no, you're not. You're saying that I haven't drawn in the fishing routes yet. So let us do that. And now, again, here we go. This is the one that we want. Uh, you are all probably going to be complaining. Mm, why is my water not hooking up? Definitely hooked up there. I'm just wondering whether we don't have enough water to reach all the way over here. That same little issue that we had before. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, because we've got water problems over there as well. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is we're going to add in another water tower. And we're going to do it over here in the farm area. Because I think that looks quite cool. So let's grab that. And we're going to pop that behind there. And then I know there's a water pipe under there. So we can hook that in. Hopefully. Let's see. Yep, yeah, you're okay. Oh, all of these houses are upgrading. Which is fantastic. That is exactly what we want to see. Keep on upgrading, please. Very good, very good. And sewage is a problem as well. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. We can sort that out. Here we go. So we grab another one of those and pop that in there. And then we'll hook that up as well. There we go. Then hopefully you're going to stop complaining. Yep, yeah, okay, so now it's just putting in the fishing roots. So we've got a lot of shellfish going on over here, and also anchovy. So I think maybe, I mean, as far as I can tell, it really doesn't make any difference what they go over. I, I have in the past tend to sort of try to stick to a collection route that is, you know, giving you 100% and nothing more, just so we don't sort of waste time with these guys going around. But as long as they get at least 100%, so it's worth sending them out. I don't mind, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is just run a couple of these out. I'd like them along the coast so you can sort of see them see them working. But other than that, we're not going to make it too complicated. Aha! Well, I don't know why I'm suddenly a pirate. It's like the only voice I can think of when you're on a boat. Pirate Biffer here. Arr, sailing the... I don't know. We haven't even named this piece of board. This isn't working out very well. I need to practice my pirate pirating a bit better before I... Oh, oh flipping neck. Feeling a bit seasick. But yeah, you get the fantastic view of the bridge of the lovely mountain over there that we haven't named yet. All along the coast. Looking nice. Looking nice. The only thing I do want to check is when they come back home again. Oh, like this one here that they are hitting. They are on 100%. They are hitting 100%. That's good. Just check this one over here. This guy here, 100%. Any others heading back? You can also tell if it's too long because they'll go out, hit 100%, and then they'll cut out and come straight back. 100%. Yeah, we're fine. And this one will be collecting ye olde fish as well. Fantastic. So we need somewhere for all this fish to go. So we've got choices here. We have a fish market, which we can put in town, sell directly to the public. And we have a fish factory, which would turn them into goods delivered to the shop. So I think in here, a fish factory would be a very good idea. I'd like to sort of put it slightly off the road. And now we have the asymmetric roads, which is fantastic. Um, that one's no parking. We'll use this one here. We'll, we'll give them a little bit of parking. I'd like to just sort of put that off the side here, like so. Yeah, there we go. That's good. We'll extend this road a little bit longer. Out to there. Let's use the Move It mod, get that the same height. Let's use this one, actually. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. And then we'll run that along the back. Excellent. That's good. And I want to add some parking out here as well. So we'll do a little bit more terraforming just to get a little 
swathe through here. And I think let's use some of these little parking lots here. We're going to put uh, a couple of those in there with a gap in between. Just because, why not? They're cool. I like them. Trash collection problems. Ah. Anyway, so that will start turning things into goods. Let's just take a quick look at our trash area. Here we go over here. See what's going on. So garbage collection is okay. I think it's just the fact that they're so far away that it's a bit of an issue. Hmm, how many trucks are you guys sending out? One of 50. Oh, you're full up. Look at that. You're full up and you're almost full up. Okay, and this thing has been emptying, isn't it? Yeah, I think that is the problem. What other options do we have? We really don't have any. We just need to place another landfill site, which is not what I wanted to do. Especially here, where you come into the city <laughs> and see it all immediately. But I think until we can empty those and get rid of them... Let's grab that road there. I think that's what we're going to have to do. There we go. Excellent. Large garbage truck. A little bit slower, but we'll hold more. So we'll leave that one going and hopefully that will take care of that issue there. Okay, excellent. Oh, look at that. Super busy harbour with all the fishing boats. You love to see it. That is good. And I bet this here is the first... Oh, it's not connected. I'm a complete muppet. Delivering <laughs> to the fish factory. Well done. Well, let's connect this road up because I'm being a complete numpty here. I'm going to bring this one. Uh, right up here, which I can't. Oh, I managed to get it close before, but not this time. <laughs> That's annoying. It's like, how the heck did I manage to get this one so close? Mm. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do then. What I was going to do was try and carry that on a little bit further up. So we could put a nice junction in. But we're going to just put the nice junction in. Like that. That'll be fine. That'll do. And then we're going to add give way there. So now they can get in and sort out the trash and all the rest of it, which is what we want. Well, what I was going to say, over here, so this area, we are trying to level it up as best that we can. Um, and they will level up and start looking like proper buildings from level three onwards. So we're not far off. A lot of them are two or three. They're getting there. I'm wondering whether a fish market in here would be good. Let's just have a look what it says about the fish market. I know, I'm a little bit smelly, perhaps, but um, sells it direct to the customers. So workplaces, noise pollution... I'm thinking that is going to be something worth adding. Maybe into this little spot over here with a connection coming through. Yeah, so that's the 11 length. And then this one here, we could curve that in to this main road connection. And then once again, we'll just upgrade that to the asymmetrical as well. Don't want traffic lights all the way along here. So we're going to, there we go, adjust those to giveaway signs. Excellent. And then we could have the, yeah, the roads going through here. So we're going to grab this one with the tree that we've been using. Here we go. We can pop that one in there. Yeah, I think that will be okay. That's not too bad. It's all got a bit lumpy and bumpy, isn't it, this area here? So let's maybe smooth that out a little bit. There we go, that's okay. And then I think we should be able to get the fish market in here. Um, so I'm going to take that height and just carve out a little section there. And that should be okay. Just, just about get that into there. Yeah, I think that's all right. And then we've got these houses here is going to have a bit of a drop behind them. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. What we're going to do is, let me think, if I grab a path, yeah, just sort of have like a retaining section along there, which is fine. Aha, so what are you doing? Let's have a look, see what's happening here. Returning to the facility. So you've dropped in now. Some fish being turned into commercial zone goods, which will go out um, to the shops and be sold and stuff like that. Excellent. Right, before we continue with this area here, I've got to take care of the police problem <laughs> that we've got in here. Everybody's complaining. That is the nearest police station all the way over there. So we're going to have to use this one. I don't think. Let's just... I don't think this one's going to fit in, is it, with the look? Nah. Let's go with that one. 
And what's this one we've got here? Oh, we've got the sheriff's office. Now, that could be nice. That is quite small. Now, how's that going to be? Everybody's happy about that. Excellent. Let's just look at the land value. It's slowly creeping up here. Look. Getting lighter blues. Which is good. And we're getting some houses coming in. Finally. Look at that. Yeah, level three houses will come in. Police cars are flying out. What's the uh, what's the choice of the police car we've got in here? We've got the normal one. Mobile command center supercar. Let's just go by the normal one. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, you're going to be super busy. Okay, right. What could we have along here? I'm thinking this little section down here, we could just have some really small shops here. So maybe like a corner shop, a one shop. Uh, let's put like three in there, four in there, just to sort of get a bit of variety like that and see what we get in there. And that will also, when they spawn in, it will push the land back a little bit more as well over here. Sort of deforms the land as it does. So hopefully, yeah, that will be okay. And then over here, we could just pop in. Oh, we don't have offices yet, do we? Darn it. Okay. Mm, maybe just a few more shops around here, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see what we get. We can come back to that. There we go. We're getting some shops popping in down here, which is good. We've got a car wash. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Very good. That's working fine. Okay, so that is filling up nicely. Let's just check on our fishing over here. How's stuff going in the fish factory? Yeah, it's getting there. They're making the fish. They're making the goods. Things are ticking over. It'll be interesting to see how much money that is making us. So it's losing us about <laughs> 800. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave this on the screen for a few minutes and just sort of keep an eye. So overall, our industry is making us profit. See, it's weird, isn't it? Look, 37 plus 292 plus what's this one here? This is warehouses and unique factories. What unique factories do we have? I mean, does this count? I suppose that's a fish factory, but it hasn't got enough fish. Uh, over here we have the flour mill. Is it counting that in the unique factories? Because I would have thought the unique factories would be this one. Unique factories, which we don't have any place yet. But, as we're here, why don't we have a look at the bakery? What does it need? Crops and flour and animal products. Well, we have got flour, animal products, and crops. We've got lots of crops. These are empty at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put these onto fill, which means we're going to get a ridiculous amount of trucks coming in. And then we are going to add in here our first factory, the bakery. Now, that can literally go anywhere. But I'm just thinking, as we've got all of these things here... We're going to take this little central section here, and that is going to be where our factory goes. So we are going to come up here. Yeah, I picked up a load of planters. These are by Avania. They are absolutely fantastic. Now, some of these actually have items in them already. If I just like plonk that down. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So things like that, I just think, look, absolutely beautiful. We are going to get that sort of in the corner there. Yeah, and I'm going to pop some of these around and really just sort of beautify this little factory a little bit. And then what I'd like to do is try and adjust where the delivery is coming. I've put this fence along here, but I'm going to change this. Let's just delete that piece of fence there. And we should have we'll come out of that view. Yeah, spawn points mod. So at the minute, all deliveries and everything's coming in at the front. I'm going to add a point. Actually, I might just... I'm going to just move the whole point. I think that will work better. So we'll go back over here. Uh, and then we'll go this way Oops, to bring it down here. We'll turn that around a little bit like so. And we're going to just sort of pop that inside there. There we go. Look, it's already doing what we want it to do. Excellent. Then we can close that fence up again. 
And because I had a lot of people mentioning it last time, I was doing detailing and I was not placing any rocks. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I do apologize. And that's far too big. <laughs> we'll just go with a few rocks and trees up against the side here just to sort of finish off this little area. looking good looking good so now what are we producing out of here we're now producing pastries which are great so we're going to need somewhere to store those which i think i'm going to just squeeze in along the side here i'd like to get some smaller warehouses but at the moment we've only got these um oh these are pretty massive aren't they i'm just wondering whether we could as we've only got one flour mill we could change this one to empty and have this one as unique factory products instead. So once it's got rid of the flour, it will switch that over. And any flour that's made here will go straight into here. And if we start finding that this one hasn't got enough room to ship it out and all that sort of thing, there we go. But we just want this buffer. So any pastries being made will be stored there or shipped out and sold straight away. So that now should start making us some more money, which is really cool. I'm liking the way this area looks. One thing I'd like to change yeah, these little funny little things that pop up here. This is the zoned farming industries. You can see the little tractor there. Well, let's just change this up. Let's place some buildings in here ourselves. Oh, and just before that happens, we'll have a quick autosave sip of tea. And also don't forget to check out bifferplaysmerch.com for your autosave sip of tea merchandise. So what we're going to do is go into the find it mod. I just find it weird that a truck goes into a sign to deliver some things. I don't know. We're going to the find it mod. I've got a new tab here and I've selected over here growable and we've selected here the farming industry, which is what we've got here, the farming industry. And these are all the things that are available. As you can see, there's fields, there's fences, there's little buildings and things like that. So I'm thinking that we could put together something a little bit nicer through here. We've got zoning i'm pretty sure i can just place these anywhere and they will automatically become historical because i've got rico yeah so these little buildings i think just look great so let's see what we can come up with in here There we go. I think that is looking rather nice. I'm loving these little extra buildings in here. And of course, all the little details as well that you can get just really adds to the, the make, you know, makes it really look like it's a work in place. Lots of stuff being dropped everywhere. And this fits in much, much better than the little buildings we had in before. I can show you, you know, this is what they look like before. Something along these lines. And now they look like this instead. I think this area is looking lovely. Okay, so we've got the little issue that we spoke of here. Waiting for flour. There is flour in there. Uh, no trucks are being used to send... What are these trucks in here? Two out of ten. So they should actually be coming over very soon. I think maybe we do need a little warehouse in between, perhaps, just to hold that flour. Which is a bit of a shame. I thought it would jump across anyway. Um, it's going to be weird sticking it all the way over here, but I think just for now... We're going to keep that on field and we're going to put flour. So we're going to have plenty of flour nearby. 
Let's just sort of get that. In fact, I'm going to put that up against this little side road here. We'll set that to the same height as that. There we go. Excellent. We'll just move it back a tiny touch. I think that'll do for now. Just so we've got somewhere to pop the flower. And I bet you're taking the flower. No, you're not. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Somebody will at some point. And that will keep expanding and growing. How are we doing over here? Still need some more workers. But we're almost at level three. Okay, let's head back on over here. See how everything's going. So you're struggling for fish, which is... A little bit unusual. We do have the... I wonder whether we could add some more of these along here. I think that would probably help. Okay, so we've got another fish farm. Another fish, whatever it was called over here. Fish harbour as well. Hopefully try and beef up the amount of fish that we've got. Uh, I also want to add a little road over here. I think possibly they're having problems with turning round. So I'm going to go with this one here. And we're going to bring that out like that and just sort of bring it down to here. Okay, we'll use the move it mod. Can I grab that node, if you don't mind? Thank you. So if they wish to turn around and come back rather than go all the way into the city and back again, which is possibly what was happening before, that might work out better. Right, let's do a little bit of detailing over here. So we could... Nice. Excellent. Thank you for that. Uh, let's just use the move it mod. No. Oh, I know what that is. Have I left on the old anarchy thing over here? I think I did. Boink. There we go. Excellent. So I'm thinking of grabbing this road and bringing that into there. Um, and then also bringing that road out like that. And then putting a bit of detailing in here. And if we go back into this view before where we had our farm industry buildings, we hold shift. We can get forestry and oil. And that gives us a few extra looking sort of huts and buildings and things that might be quite good for adding into here. I think that's looking good. I think that is looking good. Rocks and trees in the middle as well. What a view. What a view. Okay, so changing tack a little bit. I wanted to lower this highway down um, because we are going to be expanding this area up to here. And we're sort of, you know, butting up right against the highway here. And I think if that was lowered down below, you know, below eye level... Any noises that we're going to get are going to be negated by that, by some trees, by some things that we can place along there. So let's just pause the game a moment and try and find a level that's going to work. Can we just grab... Do you know what? I'm going to grab all the nodes that way and we'll do the same down here. Because at the moment, everything is 100% flat. Yeah, if we just sort of go back to there... And then we try and sort of see what we think would work. So something like that. Also, it's going to help with the road going over the top. That is actually pretty good, isn't it? I mean, even just leaving it like that would be great. We'll worry about the sloping in a moment. Um, could we just take this down a few more notches over here as well? We're going to set all of that the same. That road is getting pretty close, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do now i'm going to change that we're going to have these and these back to this height and then we'll go from there and then we're going to use this tool here the slopey slopey tool and we're going to say slope from there down to here 
and just see how that does and we'll do that from there to there does that seem like a a fair slope it doesn't look too bad does it maybe we'll go a little bit further from there to there yeah the colors are green that tells me that uh, it's better than being yellow yeah that's good and we can work on the side there and then we'll do the same over here i think this is going to be a little bit harder if we go from there to there there to there yeah that's a bit better we don't have a node in here could i add another node in there without it being a problem yep and then we'll go from there to there as well and how does that look that looks all right, doesn't it? We've got some tearing there. We won't worry about that. But then once you get down here, then, yeah, you're a lot lower down, aren't you, than everything that's going on over there. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And then what we could do, perhaps, is just move this railway line back a bit with the magic of the Move It mod and some editing. Yeah, there we go. That is much, much better. Okay, cool. Excellent. And then I would... What the heck is going on down here? What? <laughs> hey! What is going on, everybody? No, no, no! We can't have this sort of traffic in my brand new city. Do you not like this new node that's over here? Maybe I can uh, help you out here. That, those nodes are a little bit close together. No! Ah, oh, you've worked it out. Are you going to be able to get through with no problem? Everybody's happy and running along again. Fantastic. So if we just have a look at the noise pollution, you can see it sort of coming up right quite far up here. I'm just wondering how much of a difference it's going to make if we have... Let's have a look. Let's grab that with the picker mod. This one here. So let's keep this on and let's adjust it with the sound barrier. Those little three sections there and see whether that makes much of a difference to the sound that's coming through here. Let's just speed things up a moment. Yeah, look, already we can see the line dropping down and moving. So actually doing that all the way along here, just on this one side, all the way up to there, I think will be a good idea. And maybe even this section along here, because we're going to have houses coming up to here as well. I think that'll be good. And even this one here, we do have a sound barrier version of that. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe up to there for now. We'll leave it like that. Excellent. That's good. That's good. Then maybe we can just do a little bit of work on the side over here. Yeah, just a bit of scrub land along there. And then we've got some on the other side as well. And then I feel like we need a fence, definitely along this side here by the railway line. Um, so perhaps what we could do, which fence are we going to use? You haven't got the airport fence to use yet. Oil industry fence. Yeah, I think this oil industry fence, but what we're going to do is use this tool here. And we're going to say we want that to run alongside from here all the way down to here. Nope, the other way from there. Well, I know there's a key for swapping which side it is, but mine seems to be bound to something else. So I don't know if we go out a bit like that, how does that fit all the way along? Not too bad. Let's go out a couple more. See what that looks like. Yeah, just a bit of protection there with the train running along. Not sure that fence is going to be stopping trains anytime soon <laughs> but yeah i think that looks better to me and then this little section down the middle i feel like it really just needs to be i feel like it really needs to be this both sides it just seems a little bit odd only having it on one side so we're going to put that all the way along there even though there's no houses this side yeah and that little bit there and then this little bit in the middle that's all green grass i feel like do you know what that would just be what have we got? We've got gravel, we've got farmland. I think it's just going to be gravel brush through the middle here. Like this. Actually, we don't need to do it this way, do we? If we get rid of that, we don't need to use the brush. We can use our this one here. Make our brush a little bit bigger and we can sort of paint it in, can't we? Ah, 
and then possibly some sort of grasses and things in here as well. Ooh, not that many. Let's have a look. Just sort of a few bushes dotted around. That's a bit too big. That's What's that one there? Yeah, a bit of grass like that. We've got a few different grasses we can pick here. Maybe I'll make a brush out of these. That might be a little bit easier. Let's open this up. Let's make a new brush. So, uh, what do we want to do? We want to see our trees. We want to make a new one. Create new brush. And we're going to call this one weeds. Excellent. And then we're going to select in here anything that looks like a weed. Here we go. We'll leave them all on 100%. Weeds, weeds, weeds. And then bush, any small bushes as well. There we go. And I think that will be okay. That is looking like a much more realistic highway. Ah, most definitely. And there is another item that we need to add that we've not added yet. I know a lot of people have been crying out about this. It is a high school. We don't have one in here yet. So elementary school doing okay. High school, nothing at all. Now we do have the high capacity high school. Um, but I don't think that is going to just look right with everything that we've got going on over here with these houses. I did sort of want to use that spot, but we're running out of room over there. But this area here, we really, really, really need to beef up the land value. So I'm just thinking perhaps of using this sort of corner here, if we can. Could we get a road running up round here somewhere? It might mean we're going to lose a house. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a house. There we go. And then we're going to use a one new road. And we're going to get a school around the back here. And hopefully, uh, that is going to make a big difference to the people that live in here. Excellent. And then our high school, we're going to use this one here, the creative arts one. I just think it's going to add a little something something to this area. So we're going to pop that in there and everybody's going to be happy. Yay, happiness for everybody. And then if you look at land value creeping up again, the more things we add, the more land value we're getting. Excellent. I do need to add the parking lot uh, mod into this city we haven't done that yet is that seriously at the same height as that doesn't look like it is but apparently so so i think what we'll do is we'll use a couple of these for now as we can plop those in there now you know fitting okay work for parking we're gonna run a gravel path uh, up and through the back here go from one side to the other add a little something something we're going to add a little park over here for ye olde school children uh, let's see what we've got maybe a basketball court in this one Ooh, man that is going to be tight let's see how that goes oh do you know what with a bit of move it mod stuff i think we'll be able to get that working Yeah, that's okay. Excellent. Kids are coming to school already. Fantastic. I've just added some trees around here, and I do want to add some fencing. Let's go for park fence. I just think the nature reserve fence will be okay. Just want a bit of protection there for the kiddie winkies so they're not walking off the side of the... There we go. We're going to bring that all the way down to there. We're also going to put a fence along here, up the side there. And then this bit along the back is definitely going to be upgraded to this one with the soundproofing. So we're going to get that all the way along there. We won't do both because it's not needed. And I think that's okay. Bit of park in there. Bit of somewhere to play. Yeah, that is looking nice as well. Very good, very good. So hopefully we're going to see more of these houses upgrading as time goes on. Thank you. 
so we need some names for the things that we built today. Remember, we're going with themed around maybe T, but also Snakus. So Snakus was one of the builders of this map who built the area that we've started in now. So let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you're enjoying the new, I think it's a new style of City Skylines building for this one. Lots of detailed work, but working with the game as well. I'm really having fun. Hope you are too. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.